Take a deep breath. Breathe in and out. In and out. And see yourself sitting here. Ritual in front of you. We're going to reach down through the ground. So go through the floors, through the basements, and deep into the earth, far below where you're sitting. Reach down deep through the earth, going around the rocks and the soil, the boulders, and keep on going down deep further into the earth until you hit that bedrock far below you. Search along the bedrock until you find that pool of water, waters of chaos far below the earth, the crisp, cool waters. And we're going to suck those waters up through our feet, bring them up into our legs, bring those waters up with each breath into our bellies and into our chests. With each breath, it comes higher and higher into our heads and out through our arms and our hands and flowing back into the earth. With each breath, you bring the waters up and they pour back out, cycling waters through the earth and through your body. Feel the powers of chaos running throughout you. And now look up to the sky, look up through the roof and through the clouds, up until you find that one star directly above you. And we're going to pull down from there the light and the fires of order. We pull that light down into our head and into our hands. With each breath, we pull that light down further into our chest and into our bellies. The next breath brings it down into our legs and all the way down to our feet. Feel this light, feel this fire coming down from above, mixing with the waters from below, filling you with order and chaos, the powers of creation filling your body. Rejoice in that feeling. Enjoy all this energy running through you. Keep within you all that you need. But for now, whatever you don't need, send fire back up to the heavens, Send the water back down to the earth. Disconnect, but keep within you all the energy that you need. And know that at any point in the future, you can always reach up, and reach down, and pull these energies back within you. But for now, take a deep breath in and out. In and out. When you're ready, open your eyes and join us. First, we make offerings to the Earth Mother. Earth Mother, you who surround and support us, you who give us shelter, give us the weather, provide for the food that we eat, for what you do for us each and every day for your sustenance, Earth Mother, Accept our offerings. Mighty well, you reach down into the earth, connect us to the ancestors. We give you give to you the silver to hollow you. We say sacred waters flow within us. A mighty fire, you that burns and transforms, it sends whatever we give to you up to the heavens, to the shining ones. We give you this incense. We say sacred fires burn within us. A mighty tree, you who, whose roots go deep into the earth and connect to the well and all that is below, and whose branches reach high into the sky and connect us to the heavens and all that is above. Sacred tree, grow within us. 
and my grove and in all of our groves by the might of the water and the light of the fire. Our groves are made whole and holy by the might of the water and the light of the fire. Our groves are made whole and holy by the might of the water and the light of the fire. Our groves are made whole and holy. So be it. And we are here to honor the gods. We are here to ask for blessings in return. But first, mighty gatekeepers, you who have opened the ways for us throughout the years, you of all those cultures that we encompass, each and every one of you that we've called on in the past, we call on you as a group today to aid us once more to guide us as we walk your holy roads, to watch over us as we do our work this evening, and to take our messages far and wide and bring back to us all that we need to hear. Gatekeepers all, accept our offerings. Now, gatekeepers, join your magic with mine let the well open as a gate to the underworld. The fire open as a gate to the upper world. Let the tree be the crossroads between all the worlds. Open to our spirits and open to our voices. Let the gates be opened. First we give to the shining ones. Gods and goddesses of elder days, you who look over each and every one of us, our matrons and patrons, we offer you welcome. Gods and goddesses of this place, you who come from those from this very earth where we live, we offer you welcome. And gods and goddesses, be you known or unknown to us, to all of you, we offer you welcome. Come. Join us at our fire and aid us in our works tonight. Shining ones, accept our offerings. Then to the ants, I'm sorry, then to the land spirits. You have fur and feather, scale and skin, all the animal kin, we offer you welcome. You have leaf and twig, stem and flower, all the plant kin. We offer you welcome. And to all the unseen, the Fae, all the folk, and all the various names that you go by, we offer you welcome. Come to our fire. Join us and aid us in our work in this evening. Land spirits, accept our offerings. And ancestors, you of our blood, you have come before us in our family. We offer you welcome. For you of our friends and our heroes, our mentors, you who have meaning to each and every one of us, we offer you welcome. And to you of this very earth, you who are buried where we live, we offer you welcome. Come. Join us at our fires and aid us in our works this evening. Ancestors, accept our offerings. And now, if you have any offerings you wish to make, please do so now. As I've done before, I'll ask again. The election's now over. May cooler heads please reign. May normalcy return.
for their offerings. Mighty kindred, we have given to you. We give to you one last time. We ask that you, mighty kindred, ancestors, land spirits, and shining ones, kindred all, accept our sacrifice. And now, mighty kindred, we ask you, what blessings do we receive? The shining ones, they give us Iwas, the yew tree, the center of it all. The land spirits. The land spirits give us radio, the chariot, and physical journeys. And the ancestors. Ooh. The ancestors give us hoggle. Major change. Well, I don't see this as bad change. I see this as good change. I see this as saying, focus on what you're doing. Keep doing what you're doing. Maybe travel a little bit more. But the change you're looking for will happen. I think this omen is good. So, ancient mighty ones, we have given to you a gift, a cause for a gift. We ask you fill these with Iowas, the yew tree, fill them with radio, chariots, fill them with hoggle, hail. May drinking these waters be the start of the change that we have so been longing to work for. In my waters and in all of our waters, Behold, the waters of life. All right. If there's nothing else to be done, let's thank all of those who have aided us. Mighty ancestors, be you family, friends, mentors, heroes, or of this very place. For all that you do for us, ancestors, we thank you. Land spirits, be you animal, plant, or the unseen. For all that you do for us throughout the day, and all you've done for us throughout this rite. Land spirits, we thank you. And shining ones, be you our matrons and patrons, be you of this earth, or be you unknown to us, for all that watch over us and all that we work with. Shining ones, we thank you. And gatekeepers, once more you have opened the ways, watched over us as we do your work. And for all that you have done, gatekeepers, we thank you. We ask that once more you join your magic with mine and my house and all of our houses. Let the well become but water once more. Let the fire become but flame once more. Let the tree become but a tree once more. Let the gates be closed. And Earth Mother, we honor you first and we thank you last for your first and last in all of our thoughts. Without you, we would not be here. For all that you do for us, Earth Mother, Earth Mother, we thank you. And go now, children of Earth, in wisdom and peace, for this rite has ended.